I know. Okay. Am I ready to go? Oh, that was really loud. Better? Okay. So, hi everyone. I'm Christina Fay, also known as Fabulous in some circles. Uh, I just moved to Chicago to work with the University of Chicago on various projects in education. And today, I'm attempting to answer the question, what is learning? Um, most of us associate learning with memorization, repetition, and the culminating final exams. This often instills in us frustration, anxiety, and perhaps the occasional ulcer. Uh, many of us learn that we are stupid and therefore unable to learn, but this isn't always the case. Isn't it true that we're learning when we use our bodies, when we listen to music, when we piece together complex sounds and pair them with logical motions? So dancing, in a way, is learning. Are we learning when we dig into fresh soil, push a seed into the ground, and nurture it into a living product, when we understand the path of its life and the potential of its product? So yes, gardening is also learning. Are we learning when we converse with a friend, when we finally begin to understand the world through a different set of eyes, when we develop sympathy and empathy? Is talking learning? Do we learn when we play a sport? Do we learn when we jump and run and laugh and play? When do we stop believing that physical education is indeed education? When do we lose faith that having fun is also learning? Is learning. Learning when we build something with our hands. When we take pieces that don't come out of a box and make them fit together. Remember that humans are the only animals who make and use tools. Are we learning when we sit quietly for a while to read a good book? We're not memorizing facts, but analyzing literature, taking away lessons from stories. Does it count if no exam follows after? Are we learning when we learn to work with numeric patterns? Is it cheating when we find an easy solution? Is it wrong to question the formulas found in textbooks and challenge pre-established uh, pre theories? The fact is, there is no single intelligence. There are multiple intelligences. We function at too high a level to be measured in written exams. Modern theories identify eight different intelligences, but I'm sure there are a lot more. But somehow, our multifaceted talents have been overshadowed by these examinations. Teachers and students alike are judged by test scores all the time, and I'm not really sure that they show us our true values. Uh, tests are, in fact, ambiguous themselves. Here is an example of a perfectly correct answer to a perfectly inane request. Would the student get this question correct on a test? If I were grading, I'd have to admit it's correct. Okay. Remember things like shop class? I certainly don't. They are fading already into the distant memory. It shows that we no longer believe that building things, actually using our hands, is actual learning. And what happened to things like home economics? Have we evolved past food? Have we ceased to wear clothing or to keep our homes? At the very least, we are exhibiting how little we value using our, our bodies as part of the learning experience. Soon we may be seeing the same thing happen to art classes and music classes and dance classes. Anything we cannot test, we see as irrelevant. But I would argue that we can, what we cannot test is immeasurably valuable. So what are we afraid of? Cutting ourselves in our class? School boards talk of things like liabilities. We don't want people working with tools. People speak of the dangers. What if we cut ourselves? What if we hurt ourselves? Newsflash, life is dangerous. If we take no risks, we run the risk of sitting on the same rock on which we were born for the rest of our lives, never to see what the world truly has to offer, and never really learning, never coming to things like Maker Fair Detroit. So come out, explore, build, make, and inspire the world to make things with you. Fight with the boards of education to create programs to truly educate. Support your local, whoa, support your spaces. Um, so here's a picture of I3 Detroit's cupcake car made out of corrugated tin and souped up bicycle. So yeah, come to their party tonight from 10 to 3 and check it out. Um, free beer! Free beer! Yeah! 
Exactly, 10 to 3 at I3 Detroit, come. And uh, contact me with any questions, Twitter, email, and find me at the tool um, booth tomorrow picking locks. Right on.